that sucks. Two things. One of them is me losing all my review material on my computer, which, for the most part, I thankfully backed up. And the other thing that sucks? Eternal Champions. And by that, I mean I suck at the game, as with most or all fighting games. The Eternal Champions are a league of long undead fighters. So would this be like the Deadliest Warriors? Who exist in a netherworld of neither life nor death. Which turns out to be a video game. In this strange place, they exist for only one thing. Combat. Mortal Kombat? Success in the arena can lead to another chance at life. Up on your earthly death, the Eternal Champions have selected you to enter their realm and fight for the right to regain you earthly life. Department of Redundancy Department, and a misspell. Select from many interesting characters, all possessing unique combat skills and finishing moves in this fighting game classic. And having cheap-ass moves. Eternal Champions is the fighting game by which all others are measured. Are you saying other fighting games compared to this game? I don't think so. Well anyways, Eternal Champions is a fighting game, and that's the only sure thing I can say about it. Because I just flat out suck at fighting games. So I didn't finish this game at all. I can't really tell if one fighting game is better than the next in terms of quality and the technicals of it. But I think we can all tell if a fighting game is bad. Eternal Champions is not bad, I'm just bad at the game. Though it does have the usual bullcrap I personally encounter in most fighting games, like not figuring out what your moves are, trying to execute them and failing, unintentionally jumping because of the D-pad, the AI is and can be a cheating son of a bitch to someone like me, and obviously some characters having cheap ass moves which I fail to defend myself from. There are also a couple of things I did not like. For instance, I didn't like how the practice mode didn't really have a mode where you practice on a dummy AI where it just sits there with no timer and no way to lose because that's what practice mode is until you quit. Like for example in Killer Instinct's training mode. On that note, I really didn't like the fact that I couldn't quit the game back to the menu when I'm playing the single player unless I press the reset button on my Genesis. Either that or there was a way but I just couldn't figure it out. Also I did not like the fact that when you lose a match you don't get the chance to fight the opponent again. Instead you get ranked down and have to fight the previous opponent's skin, which may or may not have been a pain to beat and I fudging hated it. Because unlike other fighting games, you get to continue for the same opponent, like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, and Killer Instincts. I also heard and saw that the final boss of the game is a load of crap to fight because of this. The boss has multiple forms you have to fight, and while you do get some health refills when you beat one form, it's not a full refill, while his other forms do get the full refill. That's just insane, and apparently in the Sega CD version, he has more forms you have to fight. What the flying dingleberry straw sucking poo poo design choice is that? It's insane! Even Shao Kahn, one of fighting games biggest bitchiest bastard of a boss fight would call this boss a cheating mother ducker. Also, I couldn't find out if there was a way to dumb down the AI for the main game like in Killer Instincts because the computer will just kick your ass when you play it. You can dumb down the difficulty in practice, but that's all I ever found. Now is there anything positive I can say for certain and with confidence? Well, the graphics are kind of odd looking in the way it's done, though I like the comic book style that the Genesis is typically quite good at doing. It's very fitting for the gritty feel of this game. The characters are certainly unique and beaches to beat, as with most well-received fighting games, and well, that's all I can really think of to say for Eternal Champions. Eternal Champions is not necessarily a bad game, it's just not for me or people like me, so if you're not into fighting games or you're not very good at fighting games, I would definitely tell you to skip it. SKIP IT! But if you are into fighting games, especially the old retro ones, then I would tell you to go check it out. You might just like it. CHECK IT OUT! This game also has a release on the Sega CD as I mentioned, and as far as I'm told, that's the best version of the game, so it gives a reason to own a Sega CD, I guess. But with that said, I'm Wizro100, your viewers and I'm the reviewer, and stay tuned for a much better review after this video. So in any case, stay tuned for more from Wizro100. See ya!